What's up, Bender fam? Dylan from Trailbenders Overland here. It's a beautiful day on Superstition Mountain and time for the 30,000 mile review of the iBox suspension on my 2006 fourth gen 4Runner. Now the first thing I'll talk about are the shocks. Now it's not something I exactly recommend, but I was cruising with a group around 50 miles an hour through Death Valley on the washboard roads and I did a touch test. Again, kids don't try this at home, you can burn yourself. Um, but these shocks were barely lukewarm, I couldn't believe it. You know, compared to a Suburban that, that passed us, we flagged them down, it was smoking, and I looked underneath, there was shock grease everywhere and he had overheated his shocks on the same road that barely phased mine. Um, what I will say is the rear might be a little bit bouncy if you have a ton of weight, but you know, they're not racing shocks. They work and they work well. Now this makes a great standalone lift and level, two inch front, one inch rear system. But if you want 33 inch tires or if you have a lot of overland weight with a tent and gear in the back, you're gonna need a little bit more. So what I did was I went from, instead of the first clip on the front, I went up a clip. And on the rear, I added an Airlift 1000, which gave me all my lift back. It was a little bit squatty with that weight. That Airlift brought it right back up to where I wanted it. And it has a perfect stance for me now. Now something important to mention about iBox suspension in general is they pre-settle their springs. So after install, what you see is what you get, which is really cool because it's not going to settle like other springs do after the install. So I've really put these springs through their paces, like I said, 30,000 miles, open over mountains, off-road, on-road, through everything, and it hasn't failed me. It just performs great every day, on-road, off. And, you know, I've pulled trailers with it. I lug around a ton of weight daily, and it just does great. So for the price and quality, I can't really recommend anything else unless you're looking for something taller or something that's for, you know, racing through the desert. Race, you know, that's a totally different system. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like our content, consider hitting subscribe, like if you like the video, and if you want to see our content as it's released, hit that bell. This is Dylan from Trailbenders Overland. Hope to see you on the trails, and I'm out. If you haven't yet, head over to our online store to check out the awesome gear we use and all the new merch. Link in the description below.